welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. With the latest SIM update 15 of the Microsoft Flight Simulator, the Airbus A320 Neo by Enables is available, uh, which you can download for the PC and Xbox. It is different than the default Airbus A320 Neo, which comes with the Microsoft Flight Simulator. It has, it has uh, uh, the electronic flight bag. You can do the flight configuration and um, it's really easy. So I'm uh, just feeling like an expert flying this plane. Uh, the experience with it, it's very good. I've done few flights and I've also uploaded few videos. Few days back, I uploaded a video in which I have uh, done a flight uh, from one airport to another. And uh, on that video, uh, I got a question that uh, how to get the weather on this plane. So right now for this video, I have set the weather to storm. And uh, you can see over here. With this, uh, you will see that the weather prediction system is off. As you can see, it's also coming over here on the ECAM. Now, this is the control for the weather and predictive uh, wind shear system. So right now it's in the off position. You can turn it on by moving it to position one. And then you will see these two lights turning on and then you will have weather on the captain and the co-pilot side. You can turn it off on both the sides or you can have it on one side and you can just turn it off on the other side. So that's it. You don't really have to do anything regarding the controls. And uh, that's it. So it's very easy. So what I'm going to do is this. I have not configured this uh, plane for any flight. So I'll be just uh, going for an open climb. And I will just try to reach up to 30,000 feet, go through the clouds and see how this weather prediction system works. If you change the range, you will see clouds at different distance. So right now I'm just going to fly into the clouds and see how this uh, system works. Let's take this plane up in the air. No uh, settings are there for the takeoff performance. So I'm just going to take off like this. Toga, I'm giving a maximum uh, thrust so that uh, my climb rate is good. So this uh, plane has been um, a wonder. I am really enjoying flying this plane. The performance is really good. Let's take it up in the air. Crosswinds. Gears up. Increase the speed, 250. Move the lever to climb. Now you can see as I'm uh, Going above the clouds, um, this is also changing over here on the navigation display. Let's go and have a look at the plane from outside. So this is how the weather prediction system works on this plane. Some nice heavy clouds. So this uh, weather prediction system works really good over here. You can also change the brightness of the navigation display. And you can see you can also individually change the brightness. So if I want to just uh, dim the clouds over here on the navigation display, I can also do that. It's full bright now, and this is for the complete navigation display. So that's how you change the brightness over here.
As now you can see, the plane is out of the clouds. So now the, these clouds are at a distance. So it's a nice, wonderful view. I have uh, like experienced these kind of clouds while uh, landing at Islamabad International Airport in real life. I was uh, flying with Etihad Airways and it was Airbus A321 and uh, the clouds were just like this. So I think those videos are there on my channel. Like I posted them like five, six years back. So this is how the weather prediction system on uh, the Airbus A320 new uh, version 2 as uh, it's called on the Microsoft Flight Simulator by Enables uh, works and uh, I hope this was a useful video for you. If you don't know how to turn on the weather prediction system, now you will know how to do that. If you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you or, or if you want to ask me any question, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.